Okay, we're going to have to add a video to this, uh, this lecture because I usually don't, uh, I wouldn't record this lecture uh, and I would just perform it face to face when we would do the lab, but because of the current conditions, we can't do that. This is, this is a lab that's better shown uh, physically. Uh, I'll try to provide some videos I don't have a video of me doing any of these things, but there's a lot of interesting things that can be done um, with gyroscopes. Uh, and, uh, but let, let me just start off with a little, little demonstration. I've just got a, a top that you can probably recognize this. It's just, it's just a little marker inside. A, this is a stack of, of, of uh, CD-ROMs. I mean, you buy a, you buy a CD, CD-ROM for, for backing up your data, you get this, this uh, uh, this full, and so I'm going to try to demonstrate precession. Um, this makes a nice little top, and you can see that that the uh, top tends to to go around. If it were in a, if there were like a little dimple that I could put this in, this thing would precess like this. But let's let's look at it again, and you can see that it precesses, and uh, we're going to discuss that precession. What basically what's happening is that there's a you know, there's, there's a center of mass of this. And as it's, uh, um, there's only two forces. One is the, uh, the normal force holding, holding the top up. And then there's the center of gravity. Um, at, at that point, there's, we can think of a, of a vector, the vector through the point of gravity uh, and the gravitational acceleration going down. Well, as, as it goes down, uh, it produces uh, a torque. I mean, the, car, the cross product, would be uh, the the R crossed into the uh, the force, and that would give a uh, a uh, a torque in this direction, and that's why it precesses. Let's see if we can, if you know. So we'll see it again. We see that it pre uh, so it precesses around in that direction. Let's see what happens if I do it in the other direction. Oops! It precess precesses in the other direction. See, it, because of the uh, just the direction of the the rotation of the um, of the top. Okay, now let's get to the uh, the lecture. Uh, let's uh, share the the screen. There it is, right here. Okay, let's look the motion of gyroscopes and tops. Uh, the right hand rule. Uh, indicates that the torque is equal to R cross F, where F is equal to mg, and it's in the xy plane. And you can see that the way they show the top here, it's spinning, uh, as viewed from the top, it's spinning counterclockwise. So right hand rule, that would put the uh, uh, moment, the angular momentum vector upward. So uh, you have the the uh, the force downward uh, with the angular momentum ve vector, and it produces a change in the angular momentum that causes the the uh, the top to precess. And you can see the change in L. Uh, let, let's look at the direction of delta L is parallel to that of tau in A. Uh, 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 the torque in A, you can see the torque there, uh, is that right there. Now, from a top view, the torque results in a change in angular momentum DL in a direction parallel to the torque vector. The gyroscope axle sweeps out an angle D theta in a time interval of DT. Uh, so uh, the torque, uh, the ex external torque is equal to uh, a change in DL DT um, the DL is equal to L final minus L initial is equal to uh, the torque vector DT. Um, then that was the last of that. So uh, you can see that D phi is equal to DL uh, over L is equal to the sum of the torque external DT over L, which is the uh, MGR, where R is the center of mass, the location of the center mass, DT over L. Um, and the precession frequency 
uh, omega P is equal to D phi DT, which is equal to MGR uh, center of mass I omega. Now I'm gonna encourage you to, when, when we are in the lab, uh, I have this big, basically it's a, uh, uh, it's a uh, wheelchair uh, wheel uh, with some weights on it that we can get spinning on a, uh, we can get it spinning uh, with, with just a rope and it can go very fast. And so as you, as, uh, let me stop this. Um, let's stop the share, oops. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we want. Um, we can get this thing spinning and it, it, when a gyroscope spins and you can look up gyroscopes and you'll see a lot of these effects. When the gyroscope spins, it will, uh, you can even hold it like perpendicular. It has a rope, it'll spin in, in, in this direction. And another thing that I do with, with the, uh, uh, the spinning wheel is, is I sit on a movable turntable and as this thing is spinning, if I lift it in one direction, it'll, it'll cause a torque and cause me to turn. I'll try to put some videos uh, that show th this phenomenon. But like I say, I, I didn't have a, uh, a video when I recorded these last sets because uh, I would always produce these uh, in the face-to-face -face labs. Um, but this will serve as our gyroscope lecture. Okay. <laughs>